Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, the weather forecast said rain or drizzle rain today, so, but we are so focused on doing the gardening uh, segment that uh, we're not letting it bother us. Would you like to say a comment about the rain? Um, so the forecast, mm -hmm. um, it said it would be raining, mm -hmm. but it was dribbling. Yes. And then it looked like it was getting mm. harder and harder when I was under that tree. Mm. Mm. But and then it was actually just dribbling. And then yeah. now, mm. now it stopped yeah. her. I think I need to correct you there. It's not dribbling. Dribbling is when you do soccer in the football. You mean drizzling. Yeah, drizzling. Drizzling. D-R-I-Z-Z-L-I-N-G. I might not remember that when I'm older. You'll remember. Yeah. No way. Dribbling, dribbling is soccer, football. Right? Drizzling is when it's raining. Okay. In other words, like sprinkles of rain, okay? Anyway, let's focus on what we're gonna do. So we've got a very special plant to show you today. And um, why, is it, why is this plant so appropriate? It's because this plant is very, very rich in vitamin C complex, vitamin C complex. And in a year where we've had a lot of um, variants of viruses of all kinds, we've had colds, we've had flu, we've had hay fever, and uh, all the respiratory issues, this is a plant that you should plant because it is an excellent plant for this time of the year to, for lifting your immune system. When you eat this particular fruit, you're going to get loads and loads of vitamin C. We're going to show you in a minute. And it, it takes about three years for the plant to become quite sizable and get you a lot of fruit. But it's, three years goes very fast. So now, so if you like this video, uh, I would advise you to, to go to our channel and subscribe and press the button to subscribe. And then you'll then get notification on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. That's when the videos come out. So, what is the plant we're talking about today? Um, it's about, what's it called? Um, Remember? White currant. White currant. Yeah, currant. And, and also, yeah. I think... Yeah. I don't, Look at the camera. I don't remember when he was talking about red currant. Yes. Like... That was last week. Like that red roof. Mm -hmm, or, that's right. That red head. Like, that's right. So, I don't remember. Yeah, this is white currant. So, yeah. we're going to show... We're going to zoom in now. Now, this is a three or This is three years old. Look at that. This is three years old, three years old. Yeah. And then look, if we do that, and we get the camera to zoom in on there. Can you see? Can you, can you see? Just, just if you get, if you, yeah, can you see it, Petrina? Yeah, no, okay. No, no, can you see that? Now pick one, pick one. Pick. Yeah, pick one. Yeah, yeah. The largest one. Yeah, pick the largest one. Let, let, watch his face when he eats it. Okay, just turn around, this, just put it in your mouth. It's organic, it's so it's jelly. clean. Yeah, okay. Yeah, put it in. See that? <laughs> it's really sweet. Yeah, it's sweet sour, isn't it? You have some sweets too. That's why you have it. You have it. No, you have some sweetness now to make you sweet. Mm. Uh, see that? You know, lemon sweeter than that. Yeah. Can you see that? So that that sweet sour is that's the vitamin C. Yeah. It's really strong. Now, if you take about ten of those a day, what? little thing like ten of a day, every day. Your, your strength of the immune system is going to be so much stronger, right? That's a, also, when you get vitamin C, like when you buy oranges, listen to me, oranges, lemons, mandarins. Also... Yeah, can I um, finish? Can I finish? Okay, when you get those, what actually happens is that sometimes the fruit is four weeks old, sometimes it's four months old. When you're picking fruit like this, you're picking straight off the tree of the bush, and it's like the vitamin C is high level. It's guaranteed. You get the idea? Yeah. That's why we recommend growing this. That is a that is a white currant, and last week we did the red currant. The red currant bush is a bit young. This one is three years old. The white, the red currant is about six weeks old. You get the idea? Anyway, you're going to say? Also, bananas are good potassium. Very good. Exactly right. Because when I watch this YouTube, I'm speakable. Mm -hmm. His name's called Nathan, and his friends are called Gabe and James. And he has a cameraman and a lady, mm -hmm. a camera lady too. Mm -hmm. And um, he said a banana when he was like pretending that he yeah. was at school. Yes. Um, he said a banana is really good potassium. Mm. And then they hint that it was actually like flavored, like flavored chocolate like like, <laughs> like like banana yeah, banana you said it was good potassium the problem we've got in this country is that
bananas don't grow here. They do grow at Kew Gardens. Yeah. And there was a massive garden under, under glass. Yeah. But bananas do not work when it becomes icy and, and, and snow. The banana dies. You know, it's one of those plants that just dies, you know, like because well, it's a tropical plant. You get the idea? Why don't people just pick the bananas quickly? Well, it's not that. It's that the tree's got to grow to a certain size. It's got to go to a certain size to make it to to get to make it done. You get the idea, right? Anyway, anyway, so so if you like this video, right, go to the to the channel and subscribe, and you're going to get some amazing information about fruits, about vegetables, about herbs, and and I'm hoping that kids like uh, Arison benefit use this knowledge when they're going to get older, eight years old, nine years old. Uh, you will be eight in March next year. We're going to have a big celebration. That'll be your lucky, also, lucky year. Yeah, go on. Um, you're doing it as the adult version. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it as a kid's version. Yes. Make sure kids like my version and adults like his version. Yeah, okay. Wow, you got a storm thumb, haven't you? Yeah. What about that? <laughs> See? <laughs>